All right, so we're gonna give you some results from our Biopath trial. I'm hoping that it's something that we can put on more acres next year to help us be more profitable in years to come. So we'll go look at some results right now and check it out and see how it went. We saw a positive response in the trial area of 12.31 bushel, which is awesome. That's great ROI for this product. So I'm gonna break this down a little bit because there's two different hybrids in this plot. So hybrid A in the Biopath area averaged 300.32 bushels. And the control for that hybrid was 274.77 with a positive yield response of 25.55 bushels. So that's great. But we wanna know how it works in different hybrids and different soils and everything else. So the hybrid B in the trial area was 279.96 and the control was 281.75. So it actually had a negative 1.82 bushel response to the biopath. Kind of goes to show that don't just do a trial on one spot, one hybrid and say, oh, it works or it doesn't. But overall, great success. Now I know where to push them, so maybe where not to. So here at Schrock Farms, for many years, I have worked on the premise that a product needs to return to us three times what we spend on it. That needs to be a three to one return for it to be a viable product on our farm. And Biopath is doing that by itself seems to be showing similar results to our 2023 harvest, uh, which is gonna be in that four to five bushel range. Highly recommend that you at least try some on your farm because four bushels doesn't come easy. And that's really when a product starts taking root on your farm is when you see it more than once. And we've now seen it numerous times and we're very excited about the product. I'm here with Steve Foss from our local co-op and our dealer for Biopath, and he weighed out about a four and a half bushel advantage. To me, that's a that's a good positive ROI, about a $20 an acre increase in revenue. So that'll be something that we try more on our better ground next year. From this trial alone, it does show that biologicals may have a place on our farm. It may not be something we use on every acre. Definitely on, on these acres here, we're gonna use Biopath. Hey, Steven, we got the uh, harvest data results from that total acre here. The Biopath trial was 146 bushel. The control was 150. It appears that the control had the win for four bushel difference. It's hard to see that in a yield monitor, but uh, it's sure good to have a team of folks to work in to help you analyze that data and extract it, compare it in a side-by-side and bring out those differences in a nice controlled environment. What's cool about doing trials with Total Acre and Mosaic is you send the stuff into Brian Maddox. He shoots you the data and everything comes back. And what they came up with was that we had a 4.36 bushel response in the product, which also lines up with my trial that I ran in a field close to home, which we found a response of 4.2 bushel. So the ROI for Biopath in this trial, we saw a double your money return. So that's exciting for us because on this soil type, if we wanted to reduce some inputs, it could make us feel comfortable reducing some things, but we could also see the compound effects and hopefully continue to increase the ROI over time. Then at the end, really, the field yielded actually quite well for the amount of tar spot that was in there. So I can't really complain at all about the end result there. Overall, I thought it was a pretty good trial, really. 
So next year, we're kind of hoping to test out more soil types. And then now that we kind of have a little better understanding of what it can do, we're hoping to try also maybe reducing inputs more intentionally and then using it in the same areas. I think will be important to see long-term benefits. I highly recommend using this. Anytime that we can see a, a ROI of five to six to one, that's huge. That meets all the criteria of my book to keep using and expand biopath on my farm for next year. For us, I think it's worth another look. Like I said, this year we ran in furrow again. Next year, we'll hopefully try a couple other methods and maybe just run up more 100 acres and see how things go with the product. It's always amazing when you find a product that works in more than one place in more than one year. You're already out there. You're already filling the planter with liquids. So to be able to just dump one more jug, to me, that's a no brainer. Hey, thanks for following us this season. Been a blast getting to share operation and a glimpse to family life here with us. So I hope you've enjoyed the year, showcase to you the Biopath product. Stay tuned for season two. Again, thank you so much. We really appreciated sharing our farm with you in 2024.